Okay, so here we are at Hohenliau, the place that uh, uh, terrorists attacked Jews and killed four of them just a few days ago. We came here to eat our wonderful hummus, both because we were hungry and because the main answer, the best answer to the Arab terror and the continuous attempt to kill Jews just because they're Jews is to keep on life, keep on living, eating, celebrating our ancestral land, the land that we have given 3,500 years ago, something like that. Um, we had a rough weekend. Once again, terror, attempt to kill, death, violence, any way to spill Jewish blood. The people who live here are unfortunately used to be post-traumatic, to know a neighbor who died, a friend who died, either if you're three years old, 20 years old, 80 years old, death is surrounding us because the terror and the Islamic radical forces simply not want to see any Jew on this land. And I want to make a differentiation because there is a huge difference between attempting to kill, to murder, to slaughter as many Jews as possible and the reaction that some of the settlers have here. These settlers are uh, most of the time either afraid or frustrated. They live under terror 24-7. So of course the Israeli government condemns any act of violence, of course. But I want to see a Palestinian politician or a Palestinian leader from the other side that condemns, like we do, their attempts to kill and murder and slaughter as much Jews as possible. Not only that they not condemn it, but they also celebrate every death of every Jew, a pregnant woman, a baby, a three-year-old child, doesn't matter, two sisters and a mother, shot in a zero distance by an Arab murderer. They are going and celebrate it in the streets with candies, this is their celebration, and we already know that the Palestinian Authority pays money, pays money for those who kill us. So don't even try to compare the Israeli side, the moral side, to this death and violence industry. Don't even try to compare. And if there are settlers that are too frustrated or too afraid or too in, ag or in agony, true agony, because their neighbor or their brother-in-law or their teacher or their children died and it occurs on a daily basis and they go and act in vandalism, I condemn this vandalism. Nothing good can come from violence, of course I do. But I, in the same breath, I don't compare that to the horror of the Islamic terror that occurs here on a daily basis. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. As a governor of the Benjamin region, the largest regional council in the, in, the, in the state of Israel, I can tell you that we are under Islamic attack. Since the terror attack here in gas station in Eli, that four of our residents were murdered here. Since that, we had 200 terror attacks in Benjamin. Bullets, rockets, most of doctors. And we supposed all uh, all the people in the world to condemn this terror, to stand behind us in our fight against the terror. This is a main issue here in Benjamin today. 